Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my Switch Lite review. Let's get into it. Now, I've been using the Switch Lite ever since last Friday when this thing came out. Now, I know today's Monday. Today, I should say this past weekend, I have not been able to film this YouTube video as much as I wanted to. I have been busy since like Friday I have had to work a ton, and this past week I've actually been sick. Now, I haven't gotten the flu, I just got your average sore throat, more of a cough, and my nose was annoying, but today I feel a lot better, and just because it is a little later doesn't mean I won't be reviewing the Switch. So I'm going to get into it. Um, this thing is a godsend, <laughs> honestly. This thing, it has on the back more of a plasticky feel than the, the, if I could talk, the traditional Switch Lite. This has more of like a smooth feel, like not really plastic, but not really a fan of it. But on the Switch Lite, considering it's smaller, it feels better. I love this feeling. As soon as I, as soon as last week when I took this thing out of the box, I knew I was going to like the back a lot better. And just the overall feel of it in general. So, and especially the size. The size I can't talk about enough. This thing is literally the perfect size to game on. Now, there will be some points when using it, I will feel maybe a carpal tunnel in my fingers, especially when it just going like this, like very tiny, like a smaller form factor than a normal Switch. But actually, now when even before this video, when I picked up the normal Switch, this thing feels huge, and I can't emphasize that enough. This thing feels massive. Like, this thing feels like it should already be the Switch Pro if you didn't get a Switch Lite. This thing is huge. And I also have my iPad Pro with me just for my notes, so if you see me fling it around, ignore that. I got it in my hands just for some notes that I took while looking at it during this past week. So looking at, first of all, the battery. The battery, they say, I think is about five to seven hours around that range. Um, the switch, the normal switch, this thing came probably four to five hours. Now, the there's only really a slightly ba better battery in this, but I really didn't realize the difference, honestly. Not many people on YouTube are really saying they saw a major difference either. This thing still charges via USB-C on the very bottom, and honestly, USB-C, I almost said UPS, USB-C has been great. At the same time, this thing charges at a pretty decent rate, not that great, but it's, I think it's, it's pretty fair. Um, after using the Switch Lite, the battery guy goes down pretty fast, like after an hour, I'll be down by like 20, 30 percent. Like, Want to improve that a little more, Nintendo, please? Um, but otherwise, I have the charger right down here next to me. I'm not going to take it out of the outlet because it's just a pain. It is the original charger that came with the normal Switch. Same lengths, everything basically the same. They just took the old Switch charger, threw it in the Switch Lite battery box. And to the box, what am I saying? And yeah, I didn't really notice a huge difference. Um, moving on these speakers. Now, I think the speakers are pretty loud, but at the same time, pretty quiet. As you can see, on the bottom, they are facing the bottom. So when you're using your Switch Lite, it's kind of quiet only because they're facing the bottom. Like, if they put them on top, I think that would have been better, but at the same time, there's almost no room at the top, considering how much there is on top. But the speakers aren't that bad. I think they sound pretty well, and they actually sound maybe slightly better than the normal Switch even though they're facing down. That's just my opinion. Um, moving on, I already talked about the, the plastic feeling, how I like it's better than the other Switch. Um, looking at the size of this though, I feel like this is perfect and this is what the, the, the original Switch should have been. Now, I know that's pretty strong to say and many people might have different opinions, but in my opinion, this thing feels awesome. Like. Looking at my 3DS that I sold back a couple months ago just to sell this thing, or just to buy this thing, perfect, perfect size. 
And people have also said that the Switch Lite may save Nintendo gaming, especially for children. This thing is perfect size for children. I mean, this thing is great. I, I can't get over it. This past week, I don't think there was a time where I wasn't on my Switch Lite besides being at work. I wanted to be on this thing as much as I could, especially playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which I'm almost through by the way, currently at the Pokemon League, trying to beat their asses. But honestly, perfect size. I can't say it enough. This thing is awesome. Um, next up, I already talked about USB-C. Um, now what was different when everybody was shocked at, ignore the sun's coming in a little bit from the window, but the arrow keys. Now, there are arrow keys on the side instead of your traditional D-pad. Now, everybody was shocked how on the Switch Lite, it actually comes with a D-pad instead of the arrow keys. Now, I actually, honestly, the D-pad's so much better. I do not miss the arrow keys. It felt just like another AXYB button. Just, it felt awkward and not a fan of it, so. D-pad is definitely where it's at, honestly. This thing is great, and it feels better. Um, moving on, the buttons. Now, the buttons, I feel like they feel a lot better too. Like, the top, the ZR, ZL buttons, I don't have everything memorized just yet, but um, these feel, if you can hear that, these feel a lot better. I know here doesn't, hearing doesn't really matter with feeling, but they feel a lot better, like, I can't stop clicking these, honestly. Like, everything feels a lot better compared to the normal Switch. Not a fan, not a fan. It's probably because only because the Switch Lite's smaller, it feels better, but otherwise the buttons, the clickiness, everything feels perfect. Like, I think, in my opinion, Nintendo hit the Switch Lite out of the park. And if you didn't buy one on launch day, I mean, obviously there's plenty of time to buy one before they come out with possibly the Switch Pro is what everybody's talking about next. Um, yeah, this thing, <laughs> I think you missed out on something good, especially launch day, but obviously there's still plenty of time to buy one if you didn't feel like buying one on launch or if you didn't have the money, whatever the case may be. Um, moving on, extra storage. So. On the bottom, just like the normal Switch, has a micro SD card slot right there. Now, this thing I believe only comes with 32 gigabytes of storage, just like our previous Switch. Um, I honestly, I thought the games would take up more space. Now, games take up probably like megabytes, some maybe like five gigabytes. Like, if you have plenty of games for the Switch Lite or the Switch, whatever the case is, you're gonna fill up fast. You're gonna fill up fast. Now, I'm waiting for games for Christmas. I'm waiting for probably Smash Brothers. I want the new either Pokemon Sword or Shield. Um, I want Dead by Daylight. That actually just came out the other day for the Switch. Um, yeah, kind of cheap, but at the same time, Christmas is like right around the corner, so Switch games is definitely a want this season. Um, but otherwise, I might I might fill up. 32 gigabytes of storage, I might fill up on. Um, everywhere you look, Nintendo, Amazon, not Nintendo, but Amazon, Target, everywhere has micro SD card slots, micro SD cards, I should say, that you can just easily just fit in the little pocket here, and you have extra storage. Now, I've seen some one terabyte cards, 500 gigabyte, something that's like, a massive storage capacity on one little card is amazing, especially if Nintendo didn't actually put a micro SD card slot on the Switch Lite. Storage would have been a little tight. Storage would have definitely been tight, but the 3DS had an SD card on it. Switch has, the original Switch had a SD card slot, which I believe is actually, probably in the dock it might be in the dock I'm not sure um, oh wait no I remember I remember it is under the stand under the stand just a very small pocket and stand just keeps it tight right in there um, that's another thing to notice too 
Um, moving on. There is no stand on the Switch Lite. Mainly because this thing, you can't remove Joy-Cons, which I'm actually really happy about too. I don't need the TV time. I don't, I mean, if, I don't need to play this on the TV. If they made it so you can put this on the TV, there would have been no way, like, no point, I should say, to even creating a Switch Lite. Um, doesn't have a stand because you're mostly going to be playing it in portable mode. Nobody really needs to stand their Switch up and then just play like that, like on a table. I'm glad they didn't include a kickstand, honestly. Didn't really need that. Don't need the TV abilities, so... Perfect for especially a handheld gamer going on the go. And there's not really much else you can say, but micro SD slot is definitely a plus. Um, just the handheld mode is awesome. Kickstand, didn't need a kickstand, obviously. Um, speakers aren't that bad, the battery's not that bad. Um, obviously handheld mode is a must, especially with a light console in this thing compared to the normal Switch. Um, also the weight of this thing, this, it literally weighs nothing. This thing compared to the normal Switch, a little heavy, a little heavy. Obviously the Switch Lite's smaller, got less inside, it's gonna be lighter obviously, but what are you gonna do? So, um, yeah, a lot, a lot lighter, a lot lighter. I like that a lot. Um, last week when I took the Switch Lite out of the little bag that came in in the box, I'm always gonna remember what the plastic felt. I'm always gonna remember how much it weighed because that was awesome. And that's not gonna happen again. Never will, because I now have a Switch Lite now. I know what it feels like. And I have everything that came in the original box actually on my shelf right next to my phone, which I am um, filming this on. Now, in the process, I bought Ivor V-Guard Premium Tempered Glass Screen Protectors. This thing was a four pack for about eight bucks on Amazon. Two days prime shipping it came. Now, I'm not sure if I should put these on myself or not. I've never put on a screen protector, and I've always just taken my stuff to Verizon. They put it on my Apple Watch, my phone, my iPad even. I'm not sure if I should bring it to them. I'm not sure. I might just um, put it on following a YouTube video because I don't want to be... The only thing I fear about putting screen protectors on is the like that little dust speck that you see under it. It's there forever, like you can't get it out until you take off the screen protector and obviously nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to take off the screen protector that they already put on themselves. My fear also too is it's not going to look good, like one little corner that could be off screws off, messes up the whole thing. So that's my fear, I just, <laughs> I don't know. But four screen protectors in here for almost eight bucks. Not that bad, especially if I mess up there'll be other, there's three more in it. So. I have not put these on yet, but it said it's explosion proof, anti fouling, scratch resistance, easy to install, super hardness, high definition, high definition, HD screen, HD screen, um, yeah, so these things are basically the friggin' package right here, four of them for eight bucks, that's a steal, um, I also got a, this is what's known as the Butterfox black and blue carrying case. Now this thing is actually pretty good. I've only used this thing for about three, four days now because it just came in the other day. It wasn't actually in stock on Amazon, but I ordered it anyways and it came right to me like the day before I said it was going to be in stock again. Now considering my switch is like a green blue, I believe it's turquoise, I wanted it to at least match. They also had a version of this that was like the same exact color, but I also wanted a little bit of black in there to actually look pretty good but these match pretty well so this thing has been awesome it actually has feet on this side for when you set it down and this side just has the butterfox logo on it um opening it up this thing is actually really nice it's got tons let's see six seven eight nine ten ten game holders on two of the flaps game holders right there game holders right there Underneath is where the switch would sit with a little bit of a strap kind of What you do is you set the switch in there put this down and the velcro at the bottom here clamps So you have your switch sitting right here 
Um, at the top, we also have game card slots and a zipper to carry like my charger or whatever the case may be, headphones even. And yeah, this thing, this, this is like 15 bucks on Amazon too. Pretty good price. Now, I don't carry my Switch Lite anywhere now without this. I hate putting it on a table. I hate lifting it up off the table because I'm such a person for scratches and I hate scratches. I do not want to see scratches on it. And I'm gonna carry the Switch Lite in this at everywhere I go to keep the best possible condition on it. And I could possibly be selling in the future for whatever may come from Nintendo in the future via the, the Switch, honestly. Now, honestly, I don't have anything more to say, but bottom line with the Switch Lite, this thing is like almost perfect. Like the speakers could be a little bit better, the battery could be a little better, but Everything else, bottom line, is awesome. The last week I could not stay off of this thing and I absolutely love it. So um, that's gonna be it for me today, but if you wanna catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash heyhey775, I will have the link to that below. Um, I'm gonna be streaming here maybe like an hour before I gotta upload this first, edit this first, all that stuff. Um, also, if you wanna know when I go live on Twitter, whenever, um, any of my YouTube videos up, my Twitter is also linked down below. Um, if you want to know about my personal life, um, I like to take pictures. I like to take pictures of where I go, interesting places. I post all that on Instagram, so if you want to follow my Instagram, that is also going to be linked down below. Um, I have my Discord down there for my server for my Twitch streaming, but I don't think that link works yet, but I'm going to look into that. Um, and yeah. I will see everybody in the next video and thank you for watching.